Hi, kia ora. If you're new to the Les Mills tribe, welcome and thanks for choosing to partner with us. We're an extremely passionate team and we're looking forward to working with you to bring inspiration and even greater success to you and your members. If you've been a tribe member for a while, welcome back. I'm Steve Renata, CEO of Les Mills West Coast and former Global Sales Director for Les Mills International. Today, I want to take you through a few basic tips to implement your new Les Mills program with optimal success. All you need is your club performance manual and a pen to write down your action plan. The higher your group fitness usage in your facility, the higher your club usage, retention, membership and profit will be. So, to create growth, give clarity to your team and inspire them to achieve even more, the first thing to do is to set a strong group fitness attendance goal. What we call a BHAG, a big, hairy, audacious goal. Then, later on, we will define what the contribution of your new program to that weekly goal should be. Take page four in your club performance manual and write down your average weekly attendance. Is it 500, is it 1500, or even 3000? Then ask yourself, what do you believe is the ultimate potential for group fitness in your club? What would your attendance be if you had access to the best team of instructors, the best programs, the best studio design, and even the best marketing material? What does success look like for you? Set yourself a long-term goal, a three to five year one. Go on, stretch yourself. Over the last 20 years, Les Mills has worked with thousands of facilities, and we've seen many of them doubling, tripling, or even quadrupling their group fitness attendance. A recent global survey showed that the top 100 facilities using Les Mills programs achieved more than 2,500 attendances per week, and the top 10 clubs more than 4,600 group fitness attendances a week. The top performer, Les Mills Auckland, achieved more than 10,000 visits a week. It took them 30 years of hard work to get there, but they did it. So aim high, 2,000, 4,000, even 6,000 visits each week. You know the saying, shoot for the moon? Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. When you're done with your long-term goals, choose a 12-month one so you and your team know what to focus on over the next few months. Okay, now that we have the big picture, let's discuss how you can best implement the new Les Mills program to start moving towards your new group fitness attendance goal. Five basic things to do. First, ensure you and your staff have a good product understanding so you can sell it properly to the members and prospects. Second, define where are the best slots to introduce it on your timetable to create optimum growth in attendance. Third, set some six-month class targets. Fourth, send enough talent to their training and ideally with the best possible profile. Fifth, organise a great launch event and promotion plan to create the best possible momentum. So, what is your new program about and how is it best to promote it to people? Have a look at the end of your manual and find the relevant page to the program you're about to launch. Make sure you and your team understand four things. First, what are the features and benefits of the program? Second, what is the best way to describe it to members and non-members? This is what we call the essence. Use it on your website and on your timetable. Third, what is the main target market? Fourth, the positioning of the program. This is in the need scope model on page 16 of your manual. It explains what type of experience consumers predominantly want from each program. Let's take body pump as an example. People choose barbell training, body pump, for many different reasons. Shaping, losing weight or connecting with friends. But they all want to experience power and perfection. In contrast, Body Vibe sits at the opposite end of the scale. Members attending that program see that they want to feel they are part of a group, experience social contact and have fun. They might want to lose weight and shape up as well, but obviously they're looking for a very different way to achieve those results than the body pump participants. Why is it important you know these things? Well, depending on the positioning of your facility and the profile of your main target market, some programs will be a natural fit and a good way to strengthen your current positioning. These will be great to increase your retention rate. Other programs might be a way to differentiate your current offer and therefore to attract new members. Obviously, the way you're going to use and implement the program in these two situations will be very different from a timetabling perspective, but also in terms of marketing. So a good thing to do is to look at the need scope model and ask yourself, 
where you think your club and its main target market fits. Then, define if the new program is going to be used with your main target market to increase attendance and retention, or as a way to differentiate your positioning and to bring in a new audience. There are two questions you need to ask here. What is the ideal number of classes for the new program or programs you are starting with? And where is the best slot on your current timetable to achieve the biggest attendance growth? The number of classes to offer will depend on whether the program is going to be a natural match to your main target market, or what we call a core program, or a way to attract different people or to target a niche market, meaning a specialty program. If it's a core program, go with a high number of classes. In contrast, if you're launching the new program to attract a different audience, growing the attendance number will take some time, so go with fewer classes. To get a better idea of the number of classes you should preferably go with, you should check out best practice on page 14 and 15 of your club performance manual, then factor in your specific situation. For example, with Body Pump, clubs achieve best results in terms of attendance with somewhere between 7 and 12 classes a week. If Body Pump is a natural match to your club, go with 9 to 12 classes a week. If it's a way to differentiate your offer, start with 6 to 7 classes a week. Next, you need to define where will be the best fit for these classes on your current timetable. There are five tips to increase attendance using the new program. First, target the low to average classes. Second, if all your current classes are performing well, launch some new slots. For example, if 5 and 6 p.m. are full on Wednesday nights, try to launch a 4 or 4.15 4 p.m. class. Third, is to give priority to core programs in the peak and shoulder slots. Make sure you offer each of them at least twice a week across each two hour time slot. Fourth, use specialty programs in shoulder or off-peak slots. They attract a smaller market who are looking for something specific and these people are usually more willing to work their schedule around so they can be a good solution to drive attendance up in these slower slots. Fifth, Ideally, you should offer at least one strength toning option, one cardio workout, and one mind-body stretching option through the week in each two-hour time slot. This way, members can balance their training through the week and you'll have a solution for them whenever they're available. This will ultimately help with new member sales. Also, remember that you can use different class formats as most programs come with 60, 45, and 30-minute format options. Sometimes an express class at lunchtime works better than a regular one. This is an easy one. When you know what classes you are going to launch on your timetable, look at the current average attendance to these classes and then ask yourself, what is the minimum attendance you would like to see in six months? And are you happy with your investment? What does launch success look like for you? Write it down on page 24. Once you've launched, don't forget to count class attendance in every class so you can review performance versus the targets you have set for three and six months. And if necessary, set up an action plan to grow numbers. This is a big one. There are two must-dos here, sending enough people to instructor training and sending the right people. Global experience shows that we need to train at least 35% more candidates than the number of instructors we actually need. This means that if you need three instructors to teach your five classes every week, you ideally need to train five recruits. First, inspire your home team about the launch of the program and the possibility to become a Les Mills instructor. Download the Get Your Instructor On Board kit on eClub. Then, attach the instructor brochure PDF to the email template you'll find in the kit and send it to your team. In the email, they'll also find a link to an inspiring video. It's a great way to get some momentum. Then, run a team meeting to discuss the program and training process in more detail. Do it now. The more instructors you get on board, the less stress you will have recruiting new ones before the training. If you're still short of talent, hunt out a few extra recruits outside of your facility. Check out the talent pool suggestions in your guide and target these first. Use the online recruitment resources to promote your recruitment efforts. It's all ready for you. And if you need to select two or three more candidates, organise a two-hour recruitment seminar as explained in the guide. This will be more time effective than taking each candidate through a one-on-one -on -one process. Then, quality. It's the second most important driver of attendance after the program itself, so it's important you get this right. Ideally, 
you should select people as close as possible to the program profile you have in your manual on pages 30 and 31. Watch the short video specific to instructor recruitment and see how to proceed in more details. This has all the info you need about the profile of the people to look for, how to select them, and how to best use the tools. The goal here is to create the biggest level of interest around the program launch so that you get the best possible start and gain the best possible momentum with your members. The best way to do that is to organise a great launch event and to promote it intensively. Get your members hooked into the new program as the first step towards full classes and making your group fitness a profit centre for your club. So go for it. Check out the launch plan in your manual and the specific event seminars. You'll find all the information you need around event formats, event timetable recommendations, what marketing resources to use and when to do it. How to train your sales and front desk team, etc. Use the tips and you are on for a massive launch event. In the Selling with Events video, we will show you how you can use the quarterly relaunch events to boost not only retention but also membership sales. There are loads of resources on hand to make your journey as painless as possible. Let's quickly summarise. You should have set up your Group Fitness Weekly Attendance Goal. You should also have a good view on when you are going to offer the new program on your timetable. What attendance you want to achieve within six months and how many instructors you need to send to the training. So, your main focus for the next couple of weeks is to make sure you have enough potential talent to send to the training and to organise a great event and promotional plan. This is a very simple process when done well. We've seen incredible results around the world with clubs that have executed and we look forward to hearing yours. Kia kaha.